welcome it's six o'clock so you know what's happening we are launching a brand new one day special in fact it's specials because we have choices for you but this is the perfect hour if you have ever considered quilting if you've ever wanted to get started but simply did not know the right thing to start with well we have got the perfect thing for you and we have got colour in abundance because there is so much choice now straight away you'll have seen that name on the screen white gecko which means we've got a fabulous Sarah joining us as well and Sarah I have to say this is an amazing deal yeah it's um, yeah we've uh, managed to get some really good prices on these fabrics for you so uh, so yeah lots and lots to choose from lots of color and lots of uh, things going on I love it now the thing is sometimes when you're looking at fabrics especially if you're a novice sewer you might think to yourself okay yeah I, I get the, what the deal is there we've got the price there we've got the quantity I understand that but what does that mean what does it equate to well it equates to the most incredible quilt tops some of which you have already been looking at and this is the beauty because you've included everything bar your kind of um, wadding and the backing with regard yeah. to this to make your own first potentially quilt top absolutely yeah you've got everything in there that you can make and um, the whole of the quilt top plus your binding plus there's quite a bit left over as well so, so maybe um, a cushion yeah absolutely you could do like yeah that. yeah you could do a cushion as well from it there's there's plenty of there we've given you enough fabric so you can play around with your colors Ooh, okay. so you don't have to do exactly the same color as we've done right um you know so you've got the same amount of fabric so you think oh, actually i prefer this one with that you, you can play around with those yeah definitely and of course, novice quilters i mean they're not going to shy away from this one day special no. because of course what you've got is the kind of foundation the yeah. basis maybe to add additional fabrics in of your own choice yeah definitely so um we designed this one it's a very very traditional block okay. that is usually normally sort of a 12 and a half inch square um and i've blown it up really big um and we've we've how i've written the pattern is that you've got lots of wiggle room in there so okay. if you are a brand new quilter if you've never had a go at this before um you've always thought oh you know i've done a bit of dressmaking or i've done a bit yeah. of bag making yeah. never made a quilt you've got plenty of wiggle room there how i've written the the pattern um, and the, break down the elements are nice and simple quilts can sometimes be time consuming yeah. though i mean do we need to dedicate a lot of time to this one no genuinely you can do this in a weekend wow you know, um i mean if you're if you're already you know a quilter yeah i mean i i two two ladies put what, two of them together for, for me. Sorry, put my words back in today. <laughs> oh, it was a hell of a journey up. My brain's not quite with it oh, yet. Uh, two of our lovely ladies put two quilts together, and then I put one together, and Sarah Jane put one together. And I genuinely took about three hours to put it Love together. It. And I, I know I've been quilting for a long time, yeah. but it's a very, very simple quilt. But if Love you're. It more intermediate quilter or advanced yeah. you can really play around I with this it. right really, let's really talk colors let's it. talk options because you have got loads now we're going to start with my favorite i have mm -hmm. to say over here with the beautiful blues absolutely gorgeous this one is your sapphire option so within our one day special we're going to get the pattern which is going to allow us to create our fabulous quilt we're going to get the threads which i think is brilliant we've got our fabric ready to go what sort of quantity of fabric are we getting within these options so you'll get uh, just over three meters of fabric in there in okay. total Wonderful. Um, so you've got enough fabric there for all your borders you've got um three and quarter three and a quarter meters sorry three quarters of a meter of your background fabric um, and then you've got a third of a meter of fat quarters then of the others so you can you know you can mix and match them I love it yeah. so there you go and there you can see that beautiful option being brought to life there absolutely gorgeous now maybe blues aren't your thing maybe you're into more of your warm autumnal tones well we can help you with those with the next option because this has got that warm and cozy look about it because you've got those gorgeous russets and yellows and oranges featuring and this is the quilt that's actually stood behind me so I'm going to move out of the way in just a few moments so as you can see this one in its entirety now this particular one is called your ruby option so if you like the look of your ruby option again you've got gorgeous colors in there and you've got that center star which is just bursting and when you look at these though sometimes you almost look at the corner and I can kind of see a tulip there or maybe oh, a yeah. house in the middle so you yeah. can play around with absolutely, these absolutely definitely um the lady who made this one as well Jackie she she made this for us she um her daughter's Harry Potter mad and she oh. said it's Gryffindor colors oh okay. so <laughs> she said oh, the yeah. are available. oh absolutely yeah you know Slytherin's <laughs> in there as well <laughs> I love it. but yeah it's um yeah you've got that really Perfect, lovely like sort of yeah very <laughs> much that color theme I love it, it so if you like the look of that one that one is your ruby option now the next one that 
that we've got for you is the one that we opened the show with, which you saw um, with the gorgeous pastel tones in there. And this one is called your Opal Option. Now, your Opal Option, this one has been made a little bit different um, when we look at the finished sample on this one. Let's look at the fabrics to start with, though, because you've got those gorgeous tones in there. Uh, so you've got your kind of plain tones. But I love this. You've almost got that print within the colour as well. Yeah, so all the fabrics in the One Day Specials, they're all from Macawa. And we've chosen um, some that have got just a little bit of texture on them, okay. so either a dimple, what one of them D dimples range or their linear range which again has got a little bit of texture just to give it something else rather than it being completely plain solid yeah, absolutely beautiful and as you saw from that gorgeous quilt that we saw at the beginning it's kind of mixing it up so yeah. rather than taking those like the houses you can see the one color i'm going to refer to that all the way through now <laughs> the tulips at the side taking two different colors yeah. in there again it looks incredibly different and that corner kind of it's almost like you've got little corners within that yeah. centerpiece so dawn made this one for us and uh, yeah she played around a little bit yeah. with the the background fabric so instead of them doing doing the background all in the, that lovely cream yes. she's used a little bit of the purple in the corner if you're wanting that particular option that one is your opal finally we've got the striking look of your last one which is your diamond and this is where you've got those solid tones so perhaps and I don't want to put things in boxes but maybe thinking of something more of a masculine theme maybe you've got a teenager <coughs> that you're thinking of making this for well these are a brilliant range as you can see going from that solid black working you through it's almost tonal this one so you've got your light tones you've got your white you've got your mid gray there you've also got that gorgeous kind of charcoal gray in there the most incredible little kind of hexagons which are kind of a hint just dotted around in there and then of course you've got all your different variants coming together again encapsulating a different design i love this design here because this is one where if you are more of an accomplished quilter you might want to get some of that kind of stitch lines in there a bit of that echo quilting going on to add your own little designer touch to this and I love that because you can kind of see it following that almost star shape around this is a brilliant way of utilizing those fabrics there. it is yeah absolutely sorry I've got a real frog That's in my throat right, I can't clear it, it. <laughs> <laughs> typical <laughs> just as we start talking it but um, yeah I really like this one I think if you it's quite hard to make for men as well or teenage yes, boys yeah. and that lovely monochrome is yes. really really nice touch love it absolutely brilliant so if you want in this one then five zero seven eight two four is that all important item number you've got your one day special saving as you can see there are 15 pounds and you've got your two flexi buy payments of 25 pounds each which means you could invest in this imagine you and i think about this because of course there are saying that it could be a weekend project for you if you've got fabric that you can be able to use your wadding and we can help you with wadding and backings and things like that don't worry about that you could actually get this home and before that second payment is due you will have your quilt ready made ready to share and frankly to, to be able to shout about because you're going to be making the most incredible quilt whether you're a novice quilt or whether it's the first time don't forget you are getting your full instructions with this one so it's not just you're getting a picture you're getting everything there from how to lay out your design and now Sarah is going to show us how you can decide and kind of illustrate where those different color fabrics are going to be laid down so everything here um, Sarah creates some absolutely incredible instructions across um, all of her different kits that she brings to us so you know you are not going to be left on your own at all for your cosmic star quilt kit then the details are there on your screen five zero seven eight two four being that all important item number now something else that sarah brings to us <coughs> so well is the beautiful mode of fabrics these are gorgeous and these are in if you excuse the pun in a charming quilt of course the size of the pieces that we can see here of course it's one of modus a standard sizes it is your charm pack those five inch squares absolutely beautiful now we've got a variety of different ones are they all on the same item number these next four brilliant okay so oh these two so these two now we have seen these previously but if these passed you by and i'm thinking if you're going for the one day special maybe in the ruby option this might be a nice one to add in because it's got those gorgeous reds hasn't it behind us so if you're looking at adding in a little bit of color then maybe it could be one of these two that you go for because you've got the red in there and this beautiful one that we've got here that we're looking at as well this is your cranberries and cream but the original one that you've got there i'm going to hold this up and show this off i am right though so this would go perfectly with that term like really yeah one absolutely day you special. could use some of those in in with the one day special Definitely. yeah yeah really nice gorgeous. so that's the hustle and bustle um charm pack um which i just this really I mean I know it's Christmas and we haven't got long till Christmas but you've definitely got time to make this quilt I mean again this is a you know a day to make the quilt top and then you know a day to quilt it 
and the sizes that we're looking at with these i mean they make perfect sizes for things like <coughs> pillows as well so um it's a way you could adapt this you kind of put a pocket on the back and it allows you to kind of fold everything in as well so that's something that's um, a nice little uh, way of working with those can i just mention if anybody wants to go into the presenters lounge there's some little throat lozenges in there does so some anybody want to go and get some because it might help sarah out so the, my bag is on the floor by the presenters lounge where the computer is so <laughs> there you go so there's no way i was going to be able to tell anybody that without actually just coming out and saying it so there you go so two options under the same item number as you can see there five um, eight three three eight five one just 15 pounds and 99 pence is your price with regards to that one and it has been a very popular one especially that gorgeous hustle and bustle i'm not surprised it's a brilliant one do treat yourself to the one day special though clever way of eking out that quantity of you um, pieces that you've got there 15.99 and that's before we even mention the fact you've got a, a pattern with that you'd pay 9.99 for a pattern wouldn't you brilliant value that one do pop that one into your basket now something that sarah does so well with um, white gecko is brings us oh super duper surprises <laughs> now this particular the kind of duo that we've got here this is almost like a pre-release now with a pre-release you often put your name down don't you and then when it's released maybe february next year that's when you would receive your order but this is a totally different story altogether because these are here ready and ready to ship but this is a brand new two different brand new uh, charm packs that we've got here it is yeah so these are early releases they're not available till february anywhere else oh my um, goodness these are amazing they've let us have them uh, just a few <laughs> there's okay. not many of them <laughs> so we've let us have some early so that you guys and they are exclusive to um her really sure. uh, the craft store sorry <laughs> whoever they were what, the, that whoever, one. <laughs> whatever that name was uh, now this mm. is a bit i must admit i love this sister bay one the sister bay one has got the blue tone you know how i love my blue and I'm thinking again if you're going for the one day special this might be a nice one to add in because of course you've got that sapphire option with your one day special this one is absolutely beautiful you've got some gorgeous tones the beauty is that with the charm pack you are going to get a couple of repeats of some of those which is brilliant but they are all on a very similar palette these are flying out please leave one for me because these are gorgeous <laughs> I want these definitely so if you're wanting to get hold of these and more importantly if you want multiples of these as I know many if you will go for multiples of these then you need to be as quick as you can so that one is our first one so that one is your sister bay the next one we've got oh, this is so pretty this one is a riot of color absolutely gorgeous this is petal power absolutely beautiful now this one if you don't know which color to use then they're all in here they're gorgeous they? yeah this, that's actually um, oh, that the, the quilt that just here by me yeah. <laughs> oh, oh we'll have a little look at that in just a few moments but you can see here again a brilliant brilliant little set as you can see here just fi um, 15.99 so you're going to get all of these pieces now we're going through obviously these charm packs and showing you all the gorgeous um, fabric i keep forgetting as well you're actually going to get a pattern with these as well aren't you so the price on your screen there for 15.99 that is phenomenal value for money when you're just looking at the charm pack but the fact that you are getting that quilt in there um or oh, well, pattern in there as well is absolutely phenomenal i love it 15.99 but was that half the stock has gone of that one of sister bay oh the blue one that we've just mm -hmm. been looking at so yeah popular color tone that blue one but we will look at the quilt with that gorgeous petal power in a little while when we head over to see sarah for demo so if you want to know it's 253060 they're both on the same item number so you could quite easily go for one of each of those now more fabrics to share with you oh, these are gorgeous mm -hmm. four op is it four options four options for this one I was just counting, I couldn't figure it out. Oh, my goodness, look at this fabric. I love these. Now, these are all Moda fabrics. So again, we've been looking at a lot of Moda, incredible quality. I have to say, this is a beautiful fabric selection. My goodness. Thank so you. you're spoiling us. <laughs> I do try. <laughs> this is a gorgeous one, I love yeah. it. Absolutely yeah, so that's beautiful. Moody Bloom, that one. Moody Bloom. I love that. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. Um, we have actually got a kit coming up with a similar version of this one. This one's got more of a white backdrop to it, but the one that we've got in the kit coming up is more of a kind of biscuit tone. But I'll tell you about that in a few moments. But this is where you're looking at your fat quarter bundle. So you're going to get your five pieces there, your fat quarters. Then if we move across, we've got another option for you. This one is your ombre. And you can see they're absolutely beautiful colour tones going a little bit, as you can see, from your different lighter tones into your darker tones. But with that 
that almost that little silver foiling that you can see on there with your stars coming through so absolutely beautiful throughout that gorgeous mustard tone that's everywhere at the moment that gorgeous teal as well so that's a nice one to go for as we work our way up this is going to be a bundle that's going to work beautifully with that set that we've just looked at and this one is your vintage peacock so again all those gorgeous colors coming through and again a brilliant value bundle at 16 pounds and 99 pence and then as we move our way across if pink is more your color um, then this is the one to go for and this is beautiful because you kind of got that creme what are we calling this one sorry creme Oh, grunge pink. I thought you said creme brulee then for some reason. <laughs> this is my stomach thinking again. Um, absolutely. Oh, look at that. These are nice because it's kind of layers of colour on these, Sarah. It is, yeah. The Moda Grunge is a beautiful blender. It really is because it's got so many different colours in it. Even yes. though it's a, it, it is a solid colour, a definite colour. Yes. There's all these lovely little gradients yeah. and all in there. Absolutely gorgeous, as you can see there. Beautiful. So, we are busy. There's mm -hmm. lots more for us to share with you, but we'll, we'll look at those a little bit later on. We need to get to demo because we are so, so busy. So, yeah, website is a good place for you to shop. You'll find lots of fabulous kits on there as well. <laughs> as we head over to Sarah, can we have a look at that fabulous quilt that's hanging up as well that's using those gorgeous petals as well? Really pretty designs, loads of different... You've got projects in there as well. That farmer's <coughs> barn is brilliant because you're actually creating a three-dimensional piece. That is limited stock already. Oh, here's oh. that quilt. How beautiful is that quilt? Now, if you like the look of this one, this is the petal power version of that charm pack that we were looking at. And don't forget, you are going to be able to get the pattern with this as well. It's all included for just £15.99, and pence. Two five three zero six zero. We are going to be looking at the one-day special um, in a few moments. But can I just very quickly show you this? because you found it already this is brilliant so i love this now you're actually getting a panel that will enable you to create this amazing barn but it actually opens up now it's going to be tricky for me to actually show you this Do you want me to pop but it i'll here? give it a go oh actually should i pass should, it over to should, yeah and i can put it flat here can i for you flat surface for that one. so let me <laughs> just pop go. that down there um so this is a brilliant idea oh it's such a cute panel um the panel it means you've got all the different shapes and all in there you can open this barn up and then when you open up, it's a little, it's all got these beautiful little oh, animals. Yes. You've got a little tractor, oh. and a little horse. There's a pig in there, a little <laughs> sheep, a goat, a cow, oh. little chicken, and it's got all these lovely little pockets. Oh, there's another little, oh. there's another little chicken oh, in there. It's even got little barn windows. This is and everything so, so it's cute. a really really cute little and it's little lovely because it's kind of like a soft play kind of it toy, is isn't yeah, it? yeah it's really really soft you know and it's completely washable as well oh. you know if you've got sticky fingers all over it definitely <laughs> but you know it's lovely really nice sadly we have to say goodbye to it oh. because technically it's sold out there you go that's what happens on go. a white gecko show <laughs> um, as quick as you see it and fall in love with it you need to be popping it in your basket and checking your basket out because you could miss out on some of these so please make sure that you're getting involved as soon as you possibly can also if you've got any questions that you want him to ask by all means do get involved with the show studio at the craftstore.com is the all-important email but of course we're going to turn our attention to our one day special <laughs> and this is where potentially you're going to be making your first ever quilt so if that can be quite a daunting thing Sarah it really can yeah because you know it's you look at quilts and you think oh they're far too complicated I can't possibly do that mm -hmm. um, but actually when you sort of you know break everything down I believe that anybody can have a go at Patrick and quilting you know we do it with the brownies and the guides little ones yes. if you can sew a straight line you can create a quilt Love it. Um, you know and certainly if you can dress make this there's lots of skills there that are transferable so, wonderful yeah. okay so what have we got here um, so what I thought I'd do is start by just taking you through the pattern a little bit because okay. Um, again, it's a bit like when you sort of learn to knit or crochet. You read, you first read a pattern, and it's very difficult to kind of, you know, think, oh, what does that mean? What yes. does this mean and stuff? Mm -hmm. um, so I've tried to break it down it's, again, really, really simply, so an absolute beginner can have a little go. We've also put in there a little colouring sheet on the back. Oh, okay? okay. So again, if you say maybe choose the ruby one, yes. and it's all in reds and oranges, you might look at the chart that's in here and think oh it, I'm not sure what colour that relates oh, you to. Can't yeah, it, yeah, you can't visualise it. Yeah you can't visualise it. So rather than sort of scribbling all over it and everything because you might want to do this pattern in a different colour. That's true. We yeah. popped a little colour colouring sheet oh, in here brilliant. okay so you can then think right okay so my the little houses that you yeah. <laughs> like there they're blue in the pattern but actually on with my fabrics I'm going to use those in like the tomato red colour okay. and then you can use this little colouring sheet so I've done it without the background fabric and then with the background fabric. So okay. this one, the purple is actually the background fabric. Right. Um, and then you can just color into it. You can think, all oh, right, okay, so actually this one 
is that those two are going to be my red get ones. Your okay, out. get Clever. your pencils out and just colour in with the colours that are in your quilt kit. Brilliant. And that way it's just a little bit easier sometimes to visualise. If you're a really visual learner, you can absolutely just visualise it a little bit more. Can I ask, yep. with regards to that sheet, because you've got your blank version, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking to myself, if I start colouring it, I start thinking, oh, actually, I don't like that. Am I OK to take a, maybe a scan of that little oh, square yeah, absolutely. just so yeah. I can have a yeah, couple yeah, of them? Yeah, pho photocopy it as much as you like. And that way, you know, when you've always got a blank one, because if you do do it in other fabrics, That's stuff you've point. got in your stash and everything, you can then sort of go, right, OK, I'm going to use this patterned one, and you could, yeah, we're happy for you Thank to do that, you. no problem. Um, everything then is all broken down into the colours that are on the graphic. Okay. okay, so like my background fabric, which you need three uh, three quarters of a metre of, is actually purple in the graphic. Ah, so okay. if you, you kind of substituted that, you know exactly how much fabric yeah. you're going to need. Absolutely, Perfect. so um, one of your fat quarters um, you, you're going to need, again, if you were using, say, the ruby, that I've decided I'm going to use, that's my yellow one, that is actually your green in your fabric. So it might be worth you actually writing in here what, which fabric is which, Got okay, you. Yeah. with your colours. Again, it just makes life a little bit easier. The quilt itself is made up of just half square triangles okay. and squares. So again, it's incredibly simple to do, very, very easy. It's nothing more than five inch squares, which again is where a charm pack might come in. You could maybe substitute some of these with one of the charm packs that you know, are coordinating, but you don't need to because all the, all the fabric's there. And then very simple squares and then half square triangles. And it's all about how you put those half square triangles oh, together. Okay. okay. So I thought I'd take you through how to make a half square triangle. Nice. For just those if you're getting yourself ready, yeah. can I just very quickly yeah. got an update for you? And it's not a very happy update if you were hoping to place your order for this one. But if you have already placed your order, then you don't have to worry. But sadly, this is one of the options that has now sold out. So 253060, Sister Bay. Don't forget, we are going to hopefully see this next year. But this is kind of a pre-release. Release. Now, the pre-release means that we've actually got two, we had two options, so that one sadly has gone, but don't forget the Petal Power is the other option that we've got, which again is a pre-release, but again with this particular one now it is very, very popular, and again it is now limited in stock, that one. So if I share that one with you, which is this beautiful one here that you can see, then that, yes, if you're quick, don't forget, it's one that you wouldn't normally be able to get hold of until 20, um, 22 February mm -hmm. actually. So uh, yes, you, you, um, you could be sat on that one, uh, getting it ahead of anybody else. So 253060, and it comes with a pattern as well. Don't forget, pattern, very easy, you can pay 9.99 for a pattern. So that I don't know how you've managed to do that as a bundle, mm -hmm. but 253060 if you want in that one. Um, I think if you have check out on your website as well, we've got the Sister Bay in a jelly roll as well, which Ooh. I think was coming up on one of the other shows, one of my other hours. So oh, um, right. if, you're, if you're quick and sneaky, get on the website, you might find a jelly roll and in it. And just the record <laughs> of the show, I didn't say a thing about that, so it's nothing to do with me at all. <laughs> yeah, I think, we, I think it was coming up on the next show, the jelly oh, roll. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, if you, no if you miss out on the charm pack, we might, <laughs> you might be able to get a jelly roll. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, now, so this, this is one of the fat quarters. Yeah. That so this is one of the fat quarters. Um, you've got a fat quarter is half a meter cut in half. Again, if you're a newbie, you might not know this. So it's half a meter of fabric across the width of the, width of the bolt, and then we cut it in half, and it gives a really nice usable piece of fabric, okay. rather than a long quarter, which tends to be obviously long and skinny compared to a little bit chunkier. And we're American sizes with regards to these fat quarters. No, we are British sizes on these. Perfect, yeah, right. because we do by meterage rather than yardage. Fair enough. So it's going to be 20 inches by 21 inches okay okay um again i thought i'd take you literally right back to the beginning no and problem. go in how to cut your fabric as well so i'm going to keep it folded in half okay. you could absolutely give this a little press and a little bit of starch if you wanted to with the um in the pattern you need five inch squares and six inch squares so i would also suggest cutting a six inch because then you can cut down to a five if you need to but you can't obviously add it back on okay. so i would you know cut cut a six inch to start with okay so i'm going to cut right across the strip of fabric and put the ruler the right way around <laughs> <laughs> um i t on along the fold i tend to use one of my horizontal lines and just line that up onto the fold like that 
because then I know that this is going to, that's at a right angle and this should be nice and ah, straight. Okay. okay. Good tip. My, I always told my maths teacher I'd never use geometry and stuff and now I use it all the time. Isn't it funny? <laughs> exactly the same with me as well. Yeah. I mean, I, I could, never knew anything about the quarters and the yeah. fractions and all that, but now I need them all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, incidentally, if you are in the market for a quilting ruler, you can obviously get hold of these via our website as well if you need in there. So, there we go. Good size um, ruler to work with, actually, yeah. this particular one. Yeah, these ones are made by Crafty UK for us. Oh, um, yeah, he, he does some lovely, lovely rulers and yes. he does these ones for us. This was the size we requested. It's to, um, six and a half by twelve and a half and I use it a lot. I find yeah. it really useful it's manageable size. manageable size. It is, yeah. yeah. yeah it's a, a bit, so you've still got all your lines, your 45 degree mm -hmm. lines and all on there as well. And don't forget, if you're going for your one day special, you might not have a quilting rule. It's a really good size, as you can see, from the one that Sarah's working with. But if it's going into your order alongside your one day special, you can spread the cost of that as well. Yeah. So, um, And of course, things like rosary cutters will have those on the website. You can pop those in as well and um, yeah. spread the cost of those as well so everything can come to you and you can kind of pay for them over a couple of months if you want yeah. to. It is really handy as well if you're just starting out you know mm -hmm. you can absolutely use scissors and all to cut out but a rotary cutter and ruler is, is something that will last you years and years and years I mean just change the blades obviously yes, but yeah. you know I mean a root I've got rulers that are sort of 20 years old yeah. now that you know just keep going and going it's you know um, be a really nice present as well if you've got That's somebody really that idea. maybe is thinking about yeah. quilting. Or maybe somebody who's getting a sewing machine as a Christmas yeah. gift. That's yeah. a nice Absolutely. kit to work along. Yeah. So, that's the thing, they'll get them their sewing machine on Christmas morning and then they're possibly going to wait, have to wait a few days to actually get any fabrics yeah. or even know what fabrics to get. This is actually something they could be making in between Christmas and New Year, which is always a bit of a lull, isn't it? It, it is, it's, it's a strange like, little yeah. time, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and you might, yeah. yeah, it's a perfect, it's normally a bit cold and everything, so yeah. you can have a little go at some crafting. <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, you've got a little chart here which will tell you exactly what fabrics to pair up with which. So with this one, I want um, one of my background fabrics and I'm going to pair it up with one of my fabric A's okay which because I'm doing it the opal version here is going to be a pink one. So is it a good idea to get your different pieces and then kind of have them in a pile and that's pile A and that's yes. pile B and Absolutely. so on? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I would use that again, my colouring sheet and that very first sheet there, make sure that I've written down what my actual colours are against that so I know that fabric A is my, my white background, fabric B Not is going to be my pink, etc. Good advice, thank yeah. you. Half square triangles really are one of the easiest things to do. So I've put my fabrics right side together Okay, so I've got the right side of the fabric with the right side of my background fabric. I'm going to draw a line diagonally across. I'm just grab a pen. So obviously don't use the Sharpie, but use a pencil. I like the uh, iron off ones. Okay. Okay, I'm going to draw a line diagonally across. Just something that will just to mark that. Okay. okay. You could pin this if you want to, but you don't have to. Okay. We're now going to stitch a quarter of an inch down either side of the line. Yes. Now, you could use a quarter inch foot or you can just move your needle over, which is something I do. I, I do use my quarter inch foot a lot, but yes. when you're doing half square triangles, because you've got a little tiny point there, mm -hmm. sometimes I can get a bit stuck. So sometimes it's easier just to move your needle across. And sometimes when you've um, got a machine, you're just getting started. You don't necessarily have all the different yeah. feet available. So yeah. uh, um, it, if you haven't got a quarter inch foot, then you don't have to worry. You've got yeah. your, your markings. You can kind of put those in place. Yeah. Often nudge your needle across. So yeah. don't worry and if, if you, you haven't got one And of if you can't feet. nudge your needle across, Cross, just measure out a quarter of an inch use your ruler point, yeah. measure out a quarter inch uh, from that main line yeah. draw it in and then just stitch down the line you know you don't have to have lots and lots Good of point. bits and pieces in order to actually do this so there we go so I'm just going to stitch down nice and easily and luckily my machine is stitch should we be th worth thinking about does it matter so I tend to use a 2.5 but some quite a lot of people like to go down to a two okay. so they've got a really nice tight stitch and on there and that's just the, what your machine automatically yeah. starts up at. Yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't go much more. I wouldn't go any further than a two point five. Not okay. for piecing, because you want your stitches to be quite nice and neat and and tight as well, so they don't okay. pull apart. Because we're going to manipulate this quite a bit. So okay. there we go. So I've just stitched down quarter of an inch either side, and then we're going to cut up that line. And again, that ruler coming back in. Yeah. It's a useful ruler. It is very much so. Okay. I'm then going to just press these out to the darker fabric and we do that so that you hide the seam a little bit. I hear that phrase to the dark side yeah. so often so so why do we press to the dark side? <laughs> so we I would say you go, go a bit Jedi go to the dark side <laughs> um it's so that you don't see the seam ah, okay? okay so if you've got like these are quite pale fabrics these ones but if this was like in the the diamond one which is mm -hmm. a black and you press that that way so that it's 
into oh, the, the lighter see, yeah. fabric you might see a little bit of a shadow because got you've got you. a black fabric under a white yes. so if you always go to the dark side you're not going to see it perfect okay. thank you okay so just give that a little quick finger press like that there we go lovely okay well that's pretty achievable um, so far absolutely really really nice and simple and you've got two half square triangles there okay the quilt is made up purely of this shape and then plain squares okay there is nothing more than that within that in the whole quilt so it really is achievable by anybody i'm just looking at the quilt here yeah, yeah you can see one of those if you imagined it doing in the the yellow fabrics there yeah. you can imagine that you've got your light being your white in the mm -hmm. option that we're working with and then um you've got your opposite there being your other triangle in that yellow there yeah. so you can see that little patch that's been created there very similar to the patch that you just showed it us first create. Yeah, absolutely. The only other little skill that you kind of need is squaring these up. Um, and it is quite important to square up your, your blocks. You like the individual elements of your quilt. Um, because things won't fit things fit together better okay. you just it's, it's something none of us like doing it's very boring <laughs> particularly when you've got a lot to do <laughs> but it's Can something that's going to be it's one of those necessary evils i'm afraid <laughs> and you want to square this up to five inches now if you're an experienced quilter if you've quilted a lot I cut these at six inches. You can absolutely cut them at five and a half and you'll get almost perfect uh, half square triangles. You don't need to square up very much. But because I designed this for beginners, mm -hmm. we cut them at six and you've got that little bit of wiggle room. So if okay. your stitching isn't exactly quarter of an inch, you've got a bit to play with. So, you know, I wanted to be kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I'm actually gonna change rulers because this is quite hard on the white. If okay. I grab this one. You've got red lines on this one and we we'll might be able to see this a bit better. No problem. You've got a 45 degree line on your ruler, which runs right the way across the ruler there from corner to corner. I'm going to run that line right the way down the seam, that diagonal seam that we've just okay. sewn. Oh, okay, yeah. so that's right the way down there. Mm -hmm. Because I want these to be five inches, I'm looking for the five inch line on the ruler there and there okay and you need to make sure that that's within the fabric right. okay there's no point lining lining up your line nicely like that if your five inch five inch lines right. are outside your, you. your square's not going to be big enough okay okay so those are the two little things you want to check for when you when you're squaring up is my my 45 degree on my diagonal and are, are my those on my, my five inch or whatever size it is within the fabric okay. hold it nice and steady so bridge your ruler so you don't have you've got as much pressure on it Rather, if you put a flat hand, it can move a little bit. Okay. Uh, mind you saying that, nice thing about Andy's rulers, he's got all the non-slips on it, That's so they it. don't move at all. But this one hasn't. So you want to bridge it just to hold it nice and steady, like that. Got the right hand side. Now I'm right-handed, so I'm going to work up the right hand side and across the top, okay. like that. I'm going to turn this edge to the bottom. Okay. And now we can line up exactly on the five inch and the five inch, ah, okay. like that. And you can see that that 45 degree line is still running up the up the center and we can take that off and you've got so a now you've trimmed that to five inches mm -hmm. i mean charm packs we've been talking about charm packs yeah. being five inches yeah. so this is now the same size as those charm packs it we've is. been looking at absolutely oh, okay. so if you wanted to um you know with um some of the i can show you on this one with some of these that are plain squares they're not half square triangles mm -hmm. you could substitute those with the uh, the charm nice pack idea. if you wanted to mix and match them definitely okay, okay. You're going to make all of your half square triangles in all the different colour options. Now, sometimes, as you'll see on the little chart here, if I find the right page, hang on, where's it gone? It's page, page number three. I've gone out of order. There oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It will actually tell you, you need how many of you, you need in each. Oh, sometimes okay. it's not with a background fabric. Sometimes you'll need to put two colours together and make oh, half nice. square triangles. Okay. But if you follow the pattern step by step, it w talks you through all of that okay Lovely. once you've done all that you're going to start by making rows so we're going to look at the the very first row of the chart here which is row number one and it sh sh shows that you're going to need two background squares now i've bro broken it down here for you a little bit easier so you need two of a's so where have they gone over here okay 
Let me just make a little bit of space. Well, We've got stuff what, everywhere. While you get yourself ready for yeah. that, that next stage, yeah. I'll do a little bit of a recap cool. and I'll go through all the different options and we'll rejoin Sarah um, after that. Because, of course, now you realise that just how easy it is, especially with those um, half square triangles, which are kind of the bread and butter patches that you'll find in so many different quilt patterns. So you've got your different options. So you've got your gorgeous sapphire. And this is where you're going to find those gorgeous blues. You've got almost like a lilac blue featuring there going right the way through. And some of these have got that fabulous texture, as you can see on there as well. Absolutely incredible, beautiful fabrics throughout. So that one is your sapphire, if you're liking your blues. Maybe if you've got your sister bay, that might be one that you might be thinking about. Then the ruby, this is the one that works beautifully with those gorgeous red tones that we saw in the hustle and bustle um, at charm pack earlier on. So you've got those gorgeous autumnal tones in there. Then the one that Sarah's working with is our next one, which is your opal. This is where you've got those gorgeous pastel tones, those little hex patterns as well, featuring on some of those fabrics as well. Beautiful design and a lovely kind of springtime, fresh look to a quilt. I think that's a gorgeous look. And then finally, you've got your classics, your monochromatics, which are always popular and you are loving this particular one. So with your monochromatics, you've got everything going from that kind of um, pale grey. It's almost like a pearl grey that you've got there going right the way through to your solid black with lots of different tones of grey in between. And again, those gorgeous hexes making an appearance again. So that is your fabric. You've got so much fabric in here. You've got your thread to complement as well. So you don't need to worry about that. But you've got your all important pattern. And this is the thing. The pattern is going to be the foundation for you potentially to be creating your first ever quilt. It's a cosmic star quilt that you're going to be able to create. And it's a brilliant size and a brilliant idea if you are a novice quilter, new to quilting. Now that is obviously a serving suggestion, but we've got lots of suggestions of how you can put those patches together around us. Whether it's your pastel tones you're looking for, whether it's your warm autumnal tones, or whether you just want to mix it up completely, as you can see with the one to the side in here. But you'll need the fabrics to start with, and that's where we can help you. 507824 is that all important item number. £49.99, but two flexi buy payments opening up your flexi order. Now, just mentioning about the hustle and bustle charm pack. Well, this is the one that I was referring to because this has got some gorgeous colour tones in here, which are perfect to work with that ruby option of your one day special. But you've been loving this particular one. So 40% of the stock has gone. Now, of course, if you're wanting to go for this one, it might be a case that you're going to be making it up in a design, something similar to this one, showing you off all those gorgeous colours, as you can see there. So creating and almost framing each one of those patches that have been created created there but again lots of different ideas utilizing fabrics in those kind of quilting basics things like your half square triangles and your, your um, kind of sashing makes such a difference when you're working with the different fabrics but these ones working with lots of squares and straight lines but each one of those hatches that you looked at could be done with half square triangles so hustle and bustle beautiful array of fabric next one we've got for you is gorgeous I love this one if you like uh, it's kind of you've seen red work and that kind of look of white against red then this is a beautiful one. It's got a vintage look to this one and this one is called Cranberries and Cream. It's a nice kind of vintage version maybe of your, your Christmas red absolutely beautiful but of course there's no Christmas fabrics in here it's just that colour tone but if you like the look of this particular one just £15.99 and, and again it comes with your quilt pattern so again it could be that you are creating with this one all you need incidentally for this quilt I'm just going to turn it around and show you is one charm pack which is what you've got here and you're just adding in your own fabrics for the backing so you're going to be creating a finished quilt that's about 40 and a half inches by a little over 39 inches so you're obviously going to add in your wadding as well but it's something that it makes it very simple and easy but you can extend it as you can see that tip there you can make it bigger by adding extra charm packs and of course additional background fabric but the starting point that you've got with this one which is your fabulous quilt as you can see on the front there all done with that charm pack 833851 is that all important item number now petal power oh now we had two options with regards to this particular item number a few moments ago and sadly we lost one of the options but we have got this one which I think is a lovely one because you've got all beautiful colours but we are very very limited it's incredibly vulnerable now and it's a beautiful design you can see you've got all the different colours feature in there you've almost got like a little paste colour that you've got there it's almost like a, an embossed look on your fabric but again all from the same colour palette and again mode of fabrics 
if you are just getting started with your quilting then the quality of the fabric is key and that is the thing if you're starting out um, and you might think oh I'll go for an economical fabric you're not doing yourself any favours this is the thing though isn't it Sarah sometimes we think that don't we we'll yeah. just get a cheaper fabric because we might not get it right yeah but then you you know it's not necessarily the best quality so therefore mm. um, you, you get extra stretch and stuff That's in true. it and it might yeah. not sew together particularly nicely um, and you know I think these are actually a really really good price as well yeah. for for the amount of fabric you get in a charm Phenomenal. pack so you're getting yeah. nearly a meter and a half of fabric in yeah. a charm pack um and it you it, it it's nicer to work with it, <laughs> it really it is. is it does make it a dream and if you're getting started in quilting you, you you want to enjoy it you're not starting it because you you want it to be a chore you don't want to it's not something you're thinking oh I, i'm not going to enjoy this so i'm going to start quilting you, it's not the way you think so yeah. make life easier for yourself now incidentally this particular option is kind of like a pre-release normally you'd be waiting until February next year to actually be able to get hold of this one but because of that relationship between Moda and White Gecko is so strong they uh, bring us a couple of options of these sadly one of them has sold out but we may see more of this next year but if you want to be ahead of the game with this one then you need to be quick 15 pounds and 99 pence 253060 now fat quarters we heard fat quarters being mentioned a few moments ago from Sarah within her uh, fabulous one day special quilt but you might want to substitute some of those fabrics and there are beautiful fabrics here for allowing you to do so straight away I mean if you want to inject a kind of riot of color or different patterns then this one is a must-have and the beauty of this one is it will go with so many different options of your one day special this one is called your moody blooms um, and it's, there's so many different colors within this yeah, one it really is yes and it's a stunning range of fab fabrics it's it's been one of my favorites actually for Moda for um, uh, and Sarah Jane I think she's squirreled away a little Gorgeous. bit of all of it because she's lo absolutely loved it but that way I think would work particularly well in with the opal if you wanted to add yes, some color yeah. uh, into the opal one you know or some pattern rather yes, rather than color yeah. um, you could you know substitute Very one of those in, into that I love it absolutely beautiful. I'm going to fold that one back up while I show you the fabulous one that's got the silver stars in there and this is lovely because you've got an ombre finish with this one so it's kind of going from your different tones um, and again a really good selection of colours which again are going to work with others um, I'm going to open one of these up as well because sometimes you need to see that ombre to understand yeah. how it works yeah so um, it goes from darker shall I go for the darkest one should, should I go for yeah. this one to show that off Ah, because I think going from the lightest tone to the dark, you'll be able to see most with this particular one on the screen. So if I open that up, you can see there, not only have you got your ombre going from your light to your dark, but also the density of the print. Yeah, yeah. so if you're using it for maybe sashing or something yeah. and cut down through it, you've got that lovely gradation of, uh, of colour and pattern in it as well. I love it. I'm going to rotate this round because it's one of those ones that if you are using it, you might want to have it from that almost looking like they're cascading down. Yeah. Almost like snowflakes oh, it falling could be, from yeah. the sky. Yeah, so I think it's supposed to be blossoms, but it actually looks on screen there. It really does look like snowflakes, it's like it's snowing. <laughs> or it might be that you're turning it 180 degrees and they're actually kind of gathering at the bottom there. It's up to you. <laughs> That's the beauty of these designs. Now, each one of those pieces will ombre from the lightest tone down to the darkest, deepest tone. But then you've some of them you'll have the gorgeous blossoms on there. Some of them you'll have the little stars featuring. But all of them incredible quality because, of course, they're moda. So there you go. If you're wanting to get hold of those, that one is your second option with your little stars featuring on there. Then you've got your vintage peacock, which is this gorgeous one with those teals and gorgeous kind of tones in it. Again, this is one that you might want to use within your um, one day special um, and again a nice little set of blenders that you've got within there with different color tones but that texture within there is absolutely beautiful and then the last one is your grunge and this one is beautiful as you can see again lots of color tones within there going right the way through beautiful 773 337 16 pounds and 99 pence if you're wanting to go for any of those then you can be in very good company because you are loving them now whenever i put these back they never look quite as pretty when they started but there you go that's why i'm this side of the counter and not over there so there you go we've got details of the jane bag on the um, the screen now and this is something that is beautiful and we were joking uh, when we were having our little session earlier on which obviously we planned for the shows and you were saying when you had this in the, the shop that your customers didn't want you to bring yeah. it to us <laughs> yeah people were like where's that going I was, you can't <laughs> buy it it's it's a new it's a linen it's a moody bloom from moda so it's the same as the fat quarters in the designs but it's a linen rather than it's 100 percent linen rather than a co quilting cotton and yeah 
yes, they were like, what do you mean we can't buy it? It's like, no, I'm really sorry. It's going on a chander. It's for kits. And they were like, <laughs> the craft store. It. I keep saying, sorry. Oh, that's keep, okay. Keep Don't doing worry. it. <laughs> um, the craft this store. This is so. a comprehensive kit because you're getting your fabrics that are going to help you create your outer. Um, it's also going to create your lining and also that pop of colour that you've got with your pockets and your flaps. And you're going to get your magnetic clasps and you're getting your pattern and you're only paying £22.99 pence for it. This is a brilliant it's beautiful, bundle. beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, really, And I'm really feeling this. I'm not finding that there's any kind of foam in there or wadding, so a very affordable way of making yeah. a bag. Yeah, so it's, um, you've got interfacing in there just to give it a little bit of stiffness. Because okay. it's linen, it's really hold, it holds yes. its shape. It's lovely. Yeah. Really, it's really nice. It's a very easy one to work with. And you're actually getting that in there as well. So what a bumper bundle. Again, a fabulous one as a gift, but you're going to choose from either your pink or your blue, and that relates to that spotty fabric, which is going to form your base, and then also your pockets and your flap as well. So oh, not necessarily your flap, the lining of your flap. Should I say? I suppose you could swap it round if you wanted. Twenty two ninety nine at four seven four six seven six. Brilliant value for money. Brilliant fabrics as well, and very affordable too. Now another project for you, which is a brilliant project. You're going to love this one, and this one is your accordion pouch. And you've got two choices with regard to this one. So you've got your fabulous tartan, which is perfect for the season, isn't it? That tartan. Or your rainbow. Oh, my goodness. This is a brilliant idea. And I love this because a very useful little pouch, this yeah. one. Yeah, so I... Uh, I sort of designed these originally and made them a lot smaller you can you can get them much bigger but I made these quite small little ones um, for, for English paper piecing to put like oh, um, my see. papers and my hex hexes and then a little tiny pair of scissors and all and just keep it in the glove box to have something to do um, but then people are saying oh no they're using them for they've made them for their husband for seed pouches to put oh, seed packets in them using them for their dyes for paper crafting and all and stuff to Clever. put in there um, so another lady I know uses hers for her tablets and her bag so yes. she's got like all her different tablets and and plasters and like yeah. a little first aid kit well, and all in there. Say, this is what yeah. I call a handbag emergency kit. So yeah. you know how quite often, well, I, I don't know, I do, um, I often change my handbag to, to match your shoes or your yeah. outfit or whatever it is, but that you have certain things that you always want to take with you. Yeah. So if you keep them in here, then all you've got to do is pick this up and swap it over and put it in a different bag. Yeah. So I love it. So yeah, brilliant idea, fabulous Christmas gift as well. And of course the beauty is you can get your fabrics as well as your pattern. £13.99 and you're getting your magnetic clasp as well and of course you're interfacing to get you going with regards to this one so two options you've got your fabulous tartan and the gorgeous rainbow as you can see to the size there as well 258081 now I need to inform you of a sellout now this is not going to be any surprise to anybody it's that pre-release that we saw earlier on of that fabulous um, Moda Charm pack so sadly we have to say goodbye to it but thank you to everybody that took advantage of that one and the, uh, the Sister Bay which was alongside it don't forget get next year hopefully we will see more of that one but so it'll be more like february time that that one gets released so 253060 don't know why i've given you the item number because we probably won't have it again oh here we go now somebody let the cat out of the bag earlier about a jelly roll being available in the sister bay so if you did get your charm pack earlier on and you want to extend it even further then this is a brilliant way of doing so with your um, jelly roll um, equally so if you did miss out on it then this is a perfect way for you to get hold of those beautiful for fabrics so 477616 I'm going to keep hold of the charm pack just in case I need to show you those fabrics I haven't got the strip roll here to share with you but it'll give you an idea of those fabrics maybe in a little while but uh, we've only got 10 minutes left uh, I'll do it very quickly then I thought I'd show you how to make the Jane bag okay uh, or at least get started on it anyway because um, you do use the linens exactly like you would any other fabrics you know as you, you use cotton cottons um, but they're just so lovely to work with you get a full paper pattern in in with the um, the pattern as well as instructions um, you're just going to cut out your pieces tape it up where it tells you to tape up and you're going to use that you've got to place it on the fold oh, easy and enough, yeah. yeah absolutely I've put them two together so I've got two folds and then cut them out Perfect. okay you're going to do the same with your base pieces you also do the same with your lining as well but we'll just go through joining these at the moment so I've got back in front like that and then like that and we open those out for you this fabric's gorgeous it's so pretty it so beautiful? so pretty i really really love it i just think it's you know i know we're in winter at the moment but it does feel quite spring-like yes. it's quite jolly to work with isn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay we're going to put these right sides together so we're going to add one of the base pieces to each of these main fabrics okay so we're going to just pop these now have to excuse i had a, a little bit of an accident with a bottle Ooh. of starch savvy when i was traveling up oh, okay. i nearly didn't <laughs> I nearly didn't have a working sewing you machine. Say you 
sounds like you had a bit of a journey on oh, the way up. Oh, it's been, yeah, and then I took my sewing machine bag out of the boot, opened it up, and the whole of the bottle of starch savvy had emptied over everything. Oh, I thought it, you were my machine, sewing machine wasn't in there. No, my something. sewing machine was swimming in it. Oh, no, bless you. I hadn't put the lid on it properly and put, just chucked it in the bag. Oh, and, uh, bless you. So, yeah, we had a little emergency repair my sewing machine when oh, we got here. And you. half my samples are all uh, very wet, but at least it's starch savvy, so it'll, say, it'll dry, it'll be, be fine. Be stiff, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I've just popped them right sides together and we're just going to do a uh, edge of foot so um, it's not quite just slightly more than quarter of an inch about three eighths of an inch um, seam uh, all the way along and I'm guessing as long as you're consistent with that measurement it doesn't matter exactly absolutely. what the measurement is absolutely yep there we go so all the way down easy for this, yes. like that Lovely. there we go <coughs> excuse me I have to say, I can't get rid of that frog. I really can't. He needs to go before the next I have hour, to doesn't say, it? The linen that you've got, this linen style fabric that you've got, is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, um, yeah. kind of um, thickness as well. Um, and it, you're so right that it kind of has got its own little bit of inbuilt oomph with it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I mean, we, you can interface it which you know we've included in the kit for you but you could probably get away without interfacing it to be honest um or you could wad it if you wanted to you could That's add true. some wadding just yeah. use the pattern piece to cut your wadding out yeah. as well if you wanted something that had was a bit more yeah, you know okay. a bit more oomph to it and yeah. maybe quilt it as well might be nice yeah now um, a quarter of the stock has gone of each of the options <laughs> with regards to this one so a really good size bag as you can see here got that gorgeous contrast at the bottom and, oh i think i forgot to mention that when it's gone it's gone as well it so. is that might cause a bit of a riot now as well. So if you <laughs> have got it in your basket, then please don't dilly-dally. Make sure you're checking your basket out. Don't forget you're choosing your option dependent on the colour of your base. And your base it will also create that lining for your flap, which incidentally you are going to get that magnetic clasp. And also you've got pockets within here as well. So you can see there your pockets. And I love this. One thing, it's a real bugbear of me, when I get a handbag and the pocket is the same colour as the lining, because you can guarantee, yeah. if you're somewhere, especially if it's somewhere like the cinema and you're going into your bag, <laughs> you can't see where yeah. the pocket is. Can You yeah. kind of rummaging around and finding everything but the pocket that you want. With this, straight away you can see where that pocket is. Yeah, yeah, it's nice and easy, and if you, you know, especially if, you know, I don't know, if you're shopping and stuff as well and you want to get your phone out quickly, you That's can see true. very easily where it is. Where it is. Yeah. Love it. Um, but it's a popular yeah. option, both the pink and the blue, you're loving both of those equally. So, uh, yeah, whichever you're going for, though, just make sure you're checking out your mm -hmm. basket. Okay, okay. So, I've just pressed uh, the seam over towards the base fabric, and then I would, I mean, you don't have to, but again, it's just a nice little touch. We're going to just top stitch along there, just gives a nice little finishing touch to it and just strengthens that seam as well. It'll also keep that seam nice. laid down flat, um, which again, even though it's going to be enclosed with the lining fabric, just gives it a much more professional finish. Um, one if you want yeah to. that would be nice yeah you yeah. could or you could yeah, use maybe a variegated enough, thread yeah. or something can yeah. do a decorative stitch that'd be lovely in fact actually i think on this machine i've got one that looks like little um, bubbles as well you know ah, which would be nice against the, the, the dotty fabric <laughs> yeah one day special and looking at lots of other fabulous kits that were met our lovely Sarah and White Gecko but she's going to be back with us at 8 o'clock though and then we're going to have repeats through the night until she's back here tomorrow morning at 8am so do have a little look ahead because there's all sorts of different things that she's bought and during this hour alone we've had three sellouts so very very busy. Oh, we're gonna, hopefully we'll, <laughs> <laughs> with that amount of sellouts I might be going home early tomorrow at this rate. <laughs> Stand <a> chance. <laughs> Oh, we've got lots and lots of other things to show you though. We've got lots of other different projects that we've brought along. So um, lots of bits and pieces and loads it. of demos. I so. love it when you bring a suit. Yeah. And you work a lot with Moda. Um, we do. Yeah. 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 I love it. It's a quality fabric. Not Moda fabric within the one day special, is it? It's not. It's Macawa. Oh, Macawa. It's Macawa, Sorry, yeah. My yeah, it's Macawa. So um, the main um, of the... The main sort of border is their linen texture, which is one of my favourite blenders. Okay. I love the fact that it's not a total solid, it's got a little bit something extra yeah. to it. Um, but then you've got um, some of their lin a linear, which mm -hmm. is different to the linen texture, um, and their dimples in there as well. So you've got just that subtle idea of a pattern without yes. it being like pattern in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to finger press that one again. We're going to do exactly, in fact, I won't do that on that one this time, so I can show you just about joining them up. And okay. incidentally, with this style of bag, are we okay to make and sell with this? Yes, as well? Because I'm thinking absolutely. this is going to be a very popular style of bag, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's mm. a really nice sized tote as well, but yeah, yeah that's absolutely fine. And we're happy, you know, 
to, for you to, to make to sell the finished items. Um, okay. Now, I mentioned earlier on that a quarter of the stock has gone. We're actually looking at <coughs> half of the stock now with regards to these, and that's with both options. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are actually going for both of these because you're getting a good quantity of fabric in there. And to be honest, it's very difficult to choose between the two because the fabrics are beautiful. The blend or the contrast fabric, again, phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you're going for both of the colours with these and then kind of playing around with them when you get them home because uh, they are mm. beautiful. Don't forget, if you like the look of this fabric and you're thinking, well, I'd like to put that into a quilt, don't forget we have got those fat quarters with this very similar style of fabric. Just going to grab hold of these because if you're going for the one day special and you're liking the look of these fabrics, then some of them are featuring within kind of like the cotton or, um, alternative of these. So you haven't got the kind of feel of the linen that you've got within the bag kit, but you've got those prints. And of course, this is the bundle that you've got at the bottom of your screen. It's one of your options um, and this one would work with your one day special so if you're wanting to add that additional pattern in there then do consider popping this one at the bottom of your screen in with your one day special it's a lovely bundle like that one lot I mean, if you were being really frugal as well because you've got two different patterned fabrics in those kits you could use like a plain calico or a something as you're lining no you make two two sort of floral bags then you really uh, could play around with it <laughs> wonderful um i pop these right sides together um, so we've got just lined them all up and the one, only real thing you want to think about is lining up that seam there so that when it, the bag's put together it sort of runs nicely together so just make sure that those seams are lined up there okay. and pop a pin in there just to hold all that together I'm going to do the same the other side again just make sure that those just move them around until those are lined up nicely are you a pins or a clip kind of girl? Uh, I'm a n don't use pins at all unless I have to time oh, a girl. <laughs> you do, do as I say, not do as I do situation. This would this would be one of the few times I do actually, even when I'm quilting, I'm terrible. Okay. I I never <laughs> use pins. Um, I do. I think pins and clips have got different uses. Okay. I use clips a lot when I am binding. Yes. I do use clips. Yeah. Or if I'm using bosal, so yes. much easier. Yeah. Or vinyl, something yeah. like that. Absolutely clips. Yeah. But um, pins, um, pins if I have to. And it's when you want to get that precision into yeah. that lining up. Um, Definitely. But just as Sarah's stitching that seam, um, I need to mention to you, the details are up on your screen with regards to your pink and your blue options. Both of them equally as popular as each other. £22.99, but they are both now limited in stock. So they are literally flying out. So please do not leave it to the end of the hour to place your order for these ones because sadly, I think the decision will have been taken away from you. You won't have a choice. It will either be a case of the colour that you were thinking of going for has sold out, so you have to need to go for an alternative, or potentially both of them will have gone because they're both limited in stock. But 474676, if you are looking at placing your order, please do it as quick as you possibly can. And don't forget, we're looking at an incredibly roomy bag with this one. This is your Jane bag, and the fabric that you've got depends on whether you're going for your pink or your blue that's your main kind of decision with regards to these but then you've got your gorgeous fabrics there as well oh my goodness did i hear that right we've got 25 seconds left oh, on the show wow, right oh, well okay. i'm not gonna be able to finish this maybe we'll finish it on the next one <laughs> if there's any left happen? i know oh my goodness <laughs> yeah time is ticking away so yes if you want to see more from the jane bag and i think that's a brilliant idea we'll see that um, during the next time then do make sure you join us at eight o'clock and of course we'll see more from the one day special as well Sarah. indeed absolutely Fabulous. Thank you so much for bringing us these That's beautiful right. fabrics. No problem. Um, and if you've got any of them in your, um, your basket, you really do need to be checking your basket out. Don't forget, if you missed out on that fat quarter earlier on, we have got that jelly roll, that strip roll. We'll be seeing more of that at 8 o'clock, if we've got stock of that one left. We'll see you a little later.